Alright then, let's get started, shall we? So, especially for YouTube, uh, I have now switched to the dwarves. I played off camera the second year as the humans, and it turns out that rain is bad, okay? And pretty much everyone. or about half the fort became depressed out of the 50 people, and there were already three bodies by the time I ended the, or retired the fort. So, it probably would have been quite a bit more if I had kept going. Anyway, uh, so we are now playing as the dwarves. Let's have a quick look at the map. So, we are right at the northern tip of the continent that we'll be mostly building on. The human fort was down here near this bay over here. Actually, the population over there has just exploded by the looks of it. But we are currently here. We have only our seven dwarves so far. We basically played through a few days so far. I think we started on 25th of uh, late winter. Just to even it up at the start of the spring here. But we are about to dig in, well first of all getting some wood over here and some plants. We'll dig into the sand over here a little bit and get a small area that we can start building in. But of course uh, the miner is currently also Gathering some of the plants. So that may take some. Oh, and taking some pets to the pasture. So, in terms of animals, we got two dogs, a cat, a yak cow, um, a camel, and two pigs. So, a little bit. We got seven animals altogether. Okay, so now the miner has started mining. Not m massive speed, and it's only a novice miner so far. Started with very low points, uh, or used very little points to get this started. I figured that about a thousand points would be to get on this uh, continent. Anyway, we started digging a little bit here. There's still some trees over there, and there's actually quite a bit of logs in there. Now, I could technically set up some workshops already down. Get doing some of the work, but I think it might be better for us to get the workshops inside. Because otherwise there's going to be some problems in the long run. Namely, well... Well, yeah, there's a lot of roots down here because of the trees. I haven't played that as the dwarves in a while, so I really haven't been encountering this too much. Although, to be fair, in the last season we did have the castle town which had quite a bit of root at the start but after a while that wasn't really a problem. Anyway so we got ourselves a small bedroom chamber currently being dug out. We got basically a corridor here, there's gonna be the trade depot there, there's gonna be some storages down here, food storage there, there's gonna be two offices down here with their respective bedrooms. Let's have a look, so what did we find there? That seems to be... oh black sand, okay. And it's not damp. Okay, good to know. I suppose what I could do... Is I could... Hold on. Dug that side. I'm gonna continue this a little bit. Go maybe like five blocks. And get doors on either side. And I suppose what I could do is I could have a small corridor going this way and... Right across the corridor, we'll have a small amount of uh, workshops. One, two, three, so that's four workshops. Six. Eight should be enough for all the start here. And we can do the same on the other side as well. Currently getting some of the stockpile areas there. It will take some time, of course, to get all of this, but that actually. What sort of things do we have here in the card still? We got some... I suppose we could set that as the finished goods. Oh, well, so we can start... Oh, um... Didn't quite hit the corner that I wanted. There we go, so we can start bringing some of the resources inside. And this time, we are again on the coast, so there might be a massive amount of rain again, but... Hopefully it's not going to be as big of a problem because we'll be more or less inside most of the time. Not necessarily all of the time, but more at least than what we were in the human from the previous stream. Or the human fort in the previous stream. 
So we still got the food and drinks. Stuff like that in the... Oh, and another thing is probably the... Right, so um, over here we got the offices, we got the food storage going to be there. We might set up a small dining hall over here somewhere. Over here there's going to be the four farms, underground farms that is. That we can farm at least some of the usual stuff. Actually, I wonder, I don't think we have any seeds up here. We got some berries down, actually, is that? Yeah, we got some plants that we harvested down here, which are probably going to be rotting away rather soon. Well, at least we are digging out that. Okay, going for a drink. Fair enough. I mean, as a dwarf, it is very important to drink alcohol. That is... Okay, so let's have a quick look. We don't have a massive amount of food. That is certain. Let's... You know what? Well, let's get a fishery right out here for the time being. It's a little bit of wood. Actually, we could probably get the carpenter's workshop as well. Get started on some of the crafting. We'll move those inside once we actually dig out the area. The bucket for... Oh, right, yeah, we don't have a bucket, do we? We don't exactly have good water sources other than some of the ponds outside here. Right, so we got that. Someone's going to start doing that. Let's get two buckets, a couple beds, a couple doors, and some barrels. Maybe a bin. That will keep the carpenter busy for a little while. Meanwhile, the miner can keep on carving out the corridor there. Now, there is a problem potentially here. Because there's going to be a big aquifer, or heavy aquifer, at some point on this map, but I'm not entirely sure where exactly. So we may have a bit of a problem with that. But we'll see. Hopefully it's not too bad. Right, so did we actually get... We got some fish over there now. A little bit surely. Although the fact that these are outside may be influenced by the waves here, so we do need to be a bit careful. Luckily the waves do not reach all the way to the gate here. They do reach pretty far every now and then, but not quite to the gate. Right, so the food storage is mostly carved out. It's a little bit still missing. See if we actually... nope. Okay. You know what, I'm just gonna do half of the room first, just to get the food in there. Did we get everything? Now we're getting the doors right now, okay. At least we got the buckets. Oh, another thing is probably the tables and chairs for the offices. Some bags of seeds and all that sort of stuff there in the food storage so far. I mean, they should be bringing all the necessary things in there. It's just gonna take a while. Okay, did we get the doors? We did get at least some of the doors. Actually, we got both of them. Place them there. And the rooms on the back... or behind this uh, room and that room is just the bedrooms. Uh, I, mean, I did say that already, but so we've got a fish there, actually two raw clownfish, okay. Did you, oh, you went to the underground port, or the next layer there. Probably dig out that already. Once we get this room dug out, we can start setting up the workshops in there. Probably going to be quite a few things that we need in there. We don't have any stone right now, so that's going to be a potential issue for a little while, especially going through the aquifer. That might be an issue. It's still possible without any stone, but stone does make it easier. Right, so we've got a woodworker. What do we have still here? We've got some ale, and we've got some bolts, and the copper crossbow. I'm sure that we can find some fixes for those. 
You know what? I'm actually going to put the ammunition stockpile down there. I'm going to put down the weapon over there. It doesn't need a massive amount of room right now. Right, and I did want to set up some sort of uh, dining room over here. So let's see, how much do I need? Probably five wide, and we'll just go all the way to the wall there. And of course, we do need a door so we can actually get in there. So most of that has been dug out, so let's get the carpenter's workshop over here. Next, we'll probably need a still for that right there. Because we could get a fishery, I'd rather put it on the top side there. Then Mason probably needs to be in the top side as well. We'll put it down, down there once we've actually cleared out some room there. We can probably put this here. We'll get loom. Maybe even a clothier's uh, workshop already. There's two more that we can fit in that room already once we just dig out those two pieces. Okay, so we got that. Let's set up the armor stockpile here. Again, it's just five tiles, but it should be enough for the time being. Then over here, I think we'll... Oh! Oh, wow, that's a lot of roots going around. Over here, we'll have furniture stockpile. Over here, I'm not actually sure what I want here. We'll figure out something. I mean... Let's see. That could be something that we actually need in there. Not really animal or corpses. Don't really have any gems or stones, so not really that. I suppose I could... Hmm. i make a cloth storage there, and a leather. And we'll put a small gem storage there as well. Or gem stockpile. Well, it's, uh, these are just going to be temporary. Once we manage to get underground properly in the stone layers, we'll basically do the proper fort there. Maybe even with a different entrance. Right, let's get the furnitures in here. Everyone seems to be rather busy. Did we get any of the beds yet? No, not by the looks of it. Or maybe they are being... carried over. Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. No, there are beds there, but they might be reserved for some of the... Oh, there we go. So there are beds. Let's put them into this uh, dormitory over there. Okay, so the miners just started sleeping in the food stockpile. Well, all right then. There's still a little bit places that needs to be dug out, but we're not in a massive hurry. Although we might want to get things. Actually, that's something that we need to do. Fast workers. Uh, We'll put that here, and we'll put the masons down further along here. The carpenter has been busy, so we haven't gotten that. Um, because we could probably brew something to get a seed at least, and get a little bit of drinks. I mean, we are very low on drinks right now. Did we get the tables? Yeah, we did. Get one there, and a chair here so that we can give an office to the bookkeeper which is actually the medical dwarf the same person I mean there's a lot of noble positions that you kind of need to fill early on so I'm just using a few people they might get rather stressed along the way but eventually we can spread it out a little bit okay at least we got the bed do we we can set up a second bed down here already. I mean, we already have two beds so far. Right, so that is going to be a study. Assign that to the chief medical dwarf. You can start doing your bookkeeping. It will take a little while to actually get started, but that's alright. We got another table there. We got the bucket. We got a barrel. You have been on that. Right. Um. Oh, the miner is actually storing stuff right now. Looks like this is actually now unnecessary. I mean, we do need to set up some sort of a meeting place at some point, but I think once we get this small dining hall here, actually, 
Let me get a door down there so that they can go into the dining hall quickly. And actually, we probably don't need this anymore because we've got the carpenter's workshop down here. Get another door or two, maybe three, four, and then a couple tables and a couple chairs and maybe a couple beds. Right, did we we did get the table and the chair for the other office as well, so let's place those down. Because we don't have a lot of oh right, are you no you're just storing it over there, okay. We're gonna need more barrels. We need to do some other stuff first. Okay, so over here it's clay, it's not damp, so we know that it's at least not too bad. Let's see. Two, three, four. Alright, let's go with F5 again and then do another. There's going to be a gentle slope into the underground. Hopefully it works. Oh, we'll probably run into Aquifer though, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. Ah, uh, we shall see. Oh, right, another thing that I should probably get into here for stockpile purposes is wood. We could probably put the wood stockpile and the stone stockpiles down here underground. A bit closer to the workshops. Also get this going a little bit. Now let's see, if we want to have... Suppose we could have a small stockpile down here, something like that. And then we'll dig out the outsides, but that could be our wood stockpile for the time being. It's close to the carpenters, and actually since the masons is down here, we could technically continue this around here, and we could have a stone stockpile down this way. The mason is also rather close, and in crafting, I think we may need to get some ups. We don't have anyone that would be using nest or yeah, nest boxes, so we don't need those right now. We may want to get some crafts though, just so that we can sell something to the humans. We should be. Oh, that reminds me. Did we get? We did get that. So let's build a trade depot here. Eventually we'll close this depot and move it further underground, but right now we'll go with that. Build one of the doors down to here. Actually, yeah, no, we want to have some doors on the food storage. So a bit less of the vermin get inside there. Got another door that we can place now. Right, have we, we have increased the Oh, right, uh, that reminds me. The bookkeeper. Settings. Go for the highest precision. Right, and we never actually assign this for the manager, Mr. Longbeard himself. Right, so someone is building that. Good. Oh! We got the farming area here, so let's uh, start by building a bit of a farm here. That. And another one down here. And then we have a room for a little bit bigger one over there. So we can actually start farming and get some food going. We don't have a massive amount of seeds, of course, but it's probably going to be enough for a little while. Okay, so we need more barrels, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we do, but there's still a few more things that we are working on. Oh, and actually, well, we'll wait until they do one of the tables first, and then we'll put in a wheelbarrow there, just so that we can keep bringing in the wood into the stockpile quickly. But just one at a time, so it's not actually necessarily faster, but it doesn't reserve that many people.
Okay, so you became carpenter again. Is the fisher... Okay, the fisher is still fishing. How much fish do we have? We got seven fish so far. We got six plants. Right, so you're going to be plump helmets. Then you're probably going to be pigtails. And that's all the seas that we have right now. Luckily the plump helmets can be planted all year round. The rest of the underground plants, not so much. Okay, we do actually have a barrel there for the time being, so I suppose we could brew something. Make sure that we have at least a little bit of rings to go around. Right, let's get another door down here. And a door down there. Getting the dining hall, which is also going to be our meeting hall. We are very low on drinks though, that is very concerning, but didn't we... Oh yeah, someone's already working on that, good. What do they actually have there? They have uh, plump helmets, quite a few actually. That should give us at least a little bit of drinks. We have a look. So we got 10 now, and once we're done with that, take another look. Waiting for a few more moments. There we go. So, oh, that's actually 20. All right then. So we'll set up a stone stockpile over here. We of course have no stone right now, and then we have a wood stockpile down here. Actually, let's get a wheelbarrow down there. We don't, of course, have one yet. Which is something that I wanted to make. We'll put that in there. Right, so we dug out most of the area over here that I wanted. There's a little bit of uh, the dining hall still missing. Did we get the fishery? We did, so we don't actually need that one anymore. And the carbons has been a bit busy, so no one's been doing that. Right, well, at least the bookkeeping is all right for the time being. No one's still... Oh, right, because the carpenter is busy. All right, then. We could get a table here already. And a chair. I mean, technically, we could get a second table as well, because we know that we have that. Start getting the dining hall in there so that people can actually eat at the table. Instead of at the barrel. Right, so what is the minor... Oh, you're planting seed. Okay, well, I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. We are going to need some food, so actually, yeah, that is a good idea. Uh, is there... There's bound to be some plants over here, actually. Gather up the plants on this area here. What? So there's... Um, yam. Potatoes. Barley. Arrow, blood amaranth, more taro, okay, so fair enough. Lesser yam cotton, oh, well then. Can become the cotton farmers, I suppose. I mean, not necessarily required, but I mean, yeah, that's actually a problem. We start farming a lot of the overcrowned plants, then. To be fair, it hasn't rained yet at once, or even a single time, and it's already late spring, oddly enough. Okay, so how many things does the carpenter still have to do? Phew. At least getting some of the wood there into the stockpile, which means that, oh yeah, pretty much everyone's busy with that, other than the miner who's busy planting feed, plump helmets. Okay, so we at least got some drinks. Food, on the other hand, is a bit short right now. I thought we have some raw fish, to be fair, but... Actually, no, we don't. Is the fisherman... Oh, the fisherman is... Oh, the expedition leader is not fishing right now. That's what's going on. I mean, is there anyone... No one's really gathering the plants, either. Sure that they will do that eventually, but right now, not so much. 
I mean, we only have seven people. We have quite a bit of things that they need to do, so just giving it time should be alright. Sorry, I just uh, had to refresh my... Which page there? Bit of a connection problem for some reason. Anyway, uh, so we got the offices there. I, I would like to get the carpenter doing more work, but at the same time, the carpenter is rather busy, isn't it? So yeah, we probably don't want to be doing too many things at once. Another food stockpile here, just so that we can fill in the entire room. Because we have the entire room, might as well utilize it. Luckily we got the cat, so that's taking care of some of the worming. How many seeds do we still have? Or what seeds do we still have? I mean, we know that most of the plump helmet... Okay, so we only got the plump helmet seeds and uh, pigtail seeds so far. Do we have, then, any of the other... ...lands? No leaves. Uh, what about the plants? Oh, we have no plants whatsoever. I see. And no one's still harvesting. Everyone's getting the stuff over there. Is there... Oh, the wheelbarrow is there, but someone should be bringing it to the stockpile, so it's not going to be taking everyone. I don't think there's anyone taking it to the stockpile yet. Hmm. Alright then. Okay, we still have some fish, so we're not entirely out of food, but we are dangerously low, so... I mean, there might be a bit of starvation. I'm pretty sure that we'll get the harvest soon enough. It is late spring, but those do grow during summer as well, so it shouldn't really be a problem. A pretty good harvest over there. Oh, right, we... Oh, we didn't actually get the... chairs over there. How many things? you still got some crafts that we are working on. Okay. No one's still taking the wheelbarrow out of here. Nope. I mean, there is task assigned to it, but... You know, it's been moving it, yeah? Let's get two more beds down here, by the way. Well, one at least. The other one may have been reserved by someone else. Oh, yeah. Probably was. Okay, so I'm guessing the wheelbarrow is still... Yeah, the wheelbarrow is still there. No one's actually touching it, even. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, no, I did set that to have at least one wheelbarrow. Yeah, so the carpenter is no longer quite as busy, but we still don't have the depot. Because we're still getting the... What are you even looking at? Well, you're looking at the letters running around, basically. I know that sarcasm there. Yeah, I like playing at the ASCII graphics. It's just mostly I've never played with the graphics packs. I learned to read this back in the day, so I want to read this. Right, so we have gotten a few more barrels now. We have actually gotten a couple plants that we might be able to brew into things. Oh, we don't actually have that kind of plants. And now it's summer. Yeah, there's quite a bit of roots. Uh, this is just the initial base, uh, like, we are going to be digging deeper, but we just uh, set up. This is like a... First season is now over, basically. So just setting up a quick and dirty base, and once we actually dig in deeper, there's probably going to be some aquifer. So we're right next to sea. Did we actually... Would de oh, yeah, there's a bit of aquifer there. It is filling up not necessarily as quickly as you might think, though. It is more than I can... Hmm. 
Uh, it says that it's very aquifer, so it might be heavy as well, but I think this might be light. Been there for a little while because we've been carrying a lot of things to the stockpile. So I have a few ideas that I can do. One of those is I could technically get a bit of a side chamber here and dig channels there that we can use. Uh, this as a source of water, and this as a pond where we are putting down the water. I mean, the problem is that it's already too deep to actually dig in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some buckets, take the water away from there, drop it into the other bit of aquifer, and then I should be able to dig through. I mean, true, I suppose I could expand the hole. See, so that would dig around there, for example. Could expand that. And we just need to make sure that we are digging in. That won't work. I mean... Basically, if it's not filling too quickly, I can just uh, expand it a little bit this way. Then I can uh, one by one fill in the walls there. I mean, it's currently four and five. But I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue, assuming that it's light aquifer. If it's heavy, then, well, I mean, if it was heavy, it uh, would have been rather bad. much sooner, but yeah, I think it might work. Well, yeah, it, if it was heavy, it would be full already. Although, how much? Oh, it's slowly filling up. Where's the miner? Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm planting seeds still. You know what? Let me fix that real quick. So, where is the miner? There you are. Don't do farming or plant gathering for the time being. So that you can actually do the mining that I need you to do. But yeah, we are right next to water here. In a bit of a bay, and the idea of this uh, world actually is that we're going to be playing or cycling between humans, dwarves, and goblins, and we're basically trying to, uh, maybe sometimes a little bit elf thrown in there, but I don't know about that. But we're basically trying to inhabit a continent here. We have a human fort over there, which we played for one year on stream, and then I played another year off camera, but because that place had constant rains, it was above ground settlement, so everyone was depressed all the time, basically, on the second year, and uh, quite a few people died in murder, so I just figured out that I will switch to this walls already. But it's a fairly large continent, there's uh, not massive amount of civilization. No, I mean, I'd have to see them, but I'm not going to be doing that on stream. So we did get that, did you? Hold on, okay, so we did expand that. It's the... Okay, we're going to have to do a little bit more. Take that out and channel the place. Well, yeah, but digging around in files during 
stream while I was, while streaming. There's a huge or pretty significant risk that I would be doxing myself. I'd rather not do that. Okay, so we are now digging that out a little bit. I'm actually gonna dig out that as well and try to fill it up with some wooden walls. True, I can hide my screen, but at the same time, like, this is not really a stream for technical issues or anything like that. I mean, if you join my Discord, you can throw the link there, and I'll have a look after the... I'll have a look at after the stream. Where's the... Oh, you're going to harvest plants. All right, then. With the light aquifer, it's not too hard to deal with. Now, of course, the question is: is there's going to be, or if there's going to be multiple layers of aquifer or not? That's something that we don't know yet. Dig out those two. So that there's still a way to go up while we are filling those walls. So, did we actually get any. Got a little bit of plants there. We did get a harvest by the looks of it, and we got some barrels. So, how about we do some brewing? Storing things in stockpile again. Once we've got those, we can dig out the last wall and then we'll start figuring out what lies below. Right, let's um, got one channel at the middle there. Just check what's in there. Oh, nope. Oh, there's limestone there. Okay, we're already in the stone layers. Good. Because I'm just gonna dig out that area there completely. Yes, that's probably all I need, but the thing is, like, just looking at that, I can't see the colors that they would be. I'd like to see them first, is the problem. But I'll have to look at them after the stream. Okay, so we'll get some... Oh, right. That reminds me. Make this into an actual dining room and set that as a meeting hall. So the new people will actually go in there.
Right, so suppose now we can start getting some of the chairs. And let's get another table and two chairs and some beds and some barrels. Try to keep the carpenter busy for a while. Uh, so we do have some barrels still, though we do have some more brewing jobs queued up. Oh, there is actually a bit of dampness here. Okay, uh, how about we smooth out the walls? At least on the outside there. Is there actually... Only at the end there. Okay, so I may have gone a bit too far with that. That's alright. Except, who's the... I think it's the manager that is actually do, going to be doing the masonry stuff. All the stone detailing right now. So how many new people did we get? We got three. Okay, not too bad. Suppose I could uh, give some of them some works. Right, uh, plant gathering is good. You could probably do some farming as well. We got a leather worker. Good. Not that we got any leather so far, but. Let's see. Probably all do farming and then maybe you and you can do some detailing as well. Right, so we actually do have some idlers right now. Oh, right, yeah, we got the extra two chairs first. Put those in there. There's actually a few more seats. Should be able to smooth out this before there's any problems. Presumably. Once we're done with that, I'm probably gonna handle out another 3x3 three three here. See if that's already stable enough area that we can start getting or settling into further underground. Okay, so we can see that those are actually problematic areas there. But on the other hand, now that they're smooth, they should be leaking anymore. Okay, so the wood storage is pretty full. Did we actually get the... Might want to get another wheelbarrow. No one's actually using... Hold on. No, the wheelbarrow isn't there. It's somewhere, I'm not entirely sure where. Is it perhaps... Let's have a look. Is there someone with the wheelbarrow out? Oh, someone's still grabbing the wood by hand. Well, I am curious whether... Oh, no, it's actually used in the stone. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And does make life a little bit easier. Right, so there is actually still a kind of a damp rock down here. Also smooth down that wall. Hopefully that will be enough. I suppose I could try the oh there's just few more points there, okay. Could be because of the paddle, true. I think it's a little bit corroded to the side there. Check what's in there, and if there, that is okay, then we might dig in a couple more layers and then start setting up our city there. So I think I'm going to remove those ramps over here already. OK, 
Okay, it seems to be alright. So, let's get another ramp here. And then we'll dig a little bit more down this way. And I think one more ramp and then we're gonna start digging out area for proper fortress in there. Now to be fair, we don't have any defenses on this corridor quite yet. Eventually we can set up some bridges to block areas and then have some corridor where there's traps where the enemies would go through or something like that. Well, there's no goblins on this continent yet, but those will follow soon enough. Right, so we've got the table. Where's that one down? Oh, right, and the bed's over here, although... I'm actually going to not place down the beds there, because... We start digging out the... Proper settlement. We might as well save them there. We don't need to take them away at any point. Oh my! Hematite! Well, that's good news. Now, to be fair, I don't have an anvil yet, but once the dwarves come by, or the merchants come by, I should have some. Or well, I can probably buy some from them. Because that does require some resources that we... or some trade goods that we don't really have right now, but I suppose I could start making some rock craft or something in the meanwhile. Right, so... This is going to be the layer where the actual settlement starts, so let's set up a hockey there. And I'm going to put this as a water mining ores. Right, so let's figure out what sort of uh, settlement do we want. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> there we go. Still on the auto mining selection there. So that's going to be the corridor. And then we'll have maybe a main road going a bit further. Or main like corridor going a bit further, then we can have a bit of a plaza with the trading area here, so let's see. Two, four, five. So if we go through here, we can set up the trading post at the center then, there's going to be a little or trade depot at the center and there's going to be a little bit extra room around it. Actually, I just realized something, since I dug up that, I can use that as a water source if I want to get some mud on further deep, or deeper underground forms. But we found some bloods down there, good. Have some gems. Now, to be fair, I suppose I don't really need to melt any of this stuff quite yet. Although, actually... Um, I probably don't need to keep the stone stockpile here anymore. I can just, just remove that. So that we don't spend too much time getting the stuff in there that will then be still moved further down. So, there's not a lot of farming over there. I suppose what I could do... Set up a quick zone here, not massive size or anything. We're gonna start gathering fruit and plants from there. It's gonna give us a bit of extra... ...force of food. Because, well, I mean, we did get some plump health at least. We're not that short in food, but don't have a massive amount either. More barrels, actually. 
Actually, with the mason, we can probably get some rock doors. But that will need quite a few of them. Is the miner... Oh, the miner is digging, but... Oh, right, yeah, it's the hematite way in here. Right then. I guess that's allowed. That is actually quite a long vein. Well, I mean, that's fine by me. Right, so, okay, everyone is at least doing something. Most people are gathering the plants right now, but that's alright. Since we... What plants do we have? Let me have a quick look at that. So we've got eight cotton, we've got four taro, one lesser yam and one purple yam. 24 plant helmets and 10 pigtails. Okay, well, I, mean, I suppose that means that we can get some cloth going. Maybe get some clothing or back. Actually, backs wouldn't be a bad idea. We need a fair bit of all the food stockpiles. Start oh wow, it does branch out quite a bit here. Okay. I'll say too much bit ray. Ah, sorry to hear that. Okay, so now we actually done through the entire vein on this layer. There might be some more on other layers. Slowly we'll get up there, so if that's gonna be the plaza. Probably have some smaller corridors going around. Oh, well there's more hematite and bloodstone. A lot of limestone here that we'll be able to use in various constructions and crafting. A lot of barrels. How about we brew some more drinks? Because I'm pretty sure that well, I've still got 20 drinks, but it's not much in all fairness. The cloth being made right now. We actually don't have all that much yet. Now the question is, yeah, we'll probably want to smooth down the floor before we put down the depot. Not that it's going to have a much of an effect, in all fairness, but... We do need to figure out a little bit on what sort of uh, builds do we actually want to make here. We have the trading layer here. We'll probably want to have some of the stockpiles on this layer then, so that it's a bit shorter distance. We could have, let's say, if we have the crafting layer on the next layer, and after that, the next layer down, we could have the housing layers and uh, libraries and taverns and such. Shrine of, shrines, of course. It's these. Or melon vines, okay. I don't think I've seen those before. But now I have. Right, so we've got the rock doors there, we got the wheelbarrow, we got two beds, quite a few barrels, and buckets. We're turning the uh, threat into cloth right now, but not that many people that are assigned to do that. Okay, so we have this area almost dug out. 
Oh, have we got another piglet? Huzzah! Right, let's move out this entire room here. We'll place down the depot at the center. Actually, the next question is, of course, we're gonna have, we'll probably have some doors down here that lead to stockpile areas. Okay, so it's awesome already. We didn't get any human traders yet, probably because we haven't made enough uh, wealth so far. And secondly, the human settlement is a bit far away. But I'm pretty sure the dwarf should at least arrive. Assuming that they have a anvil, actually, that reminds me. Let's craft more rock things. Have at least a little bit more income. I mean, we don't have a jeweler's workshops right now. That can probably wait. I mean, but we do have some gems that we could sell if we want to. Oh, right, the cat that came with the. Immigrants should probably be assigned here. What is that seed? That is cotton seed, okay. I wonder if we were to farm a little bit above ground, where would we want to do that? There's a bit of a room down here at least for a couple of farms. Fairly small, small ones, of course, but I would probably fit them here. At the same time, we have so little seeds of the at, at our disposal right now that I don't think it's going to be a good idea to focus on that. Got the bin of uh, finished goods here. How much do we have? Not a lot. Enough to maybe buy the anvil, but that, that's probably going to be more or less it. Right, and yes, they are still smoothing that out, I suppose. The miner, okay, and the miner is currently sleeping. Uh, I wonder, so the intro is going to be here. Let's mine doorway over there. The doorway over there. One more over there. And then since there's a lot of iron down here, we might want to dig into that first. A little bit there, and I suppose let's A little bit of extra room here, so this could be some finished goods storage in here. Actually, I think let's get a downstairs area down here. So make sure that there's plenty of staircases going down, and then up and down at least that far. Actually got a turkey, is that? Oh, it's a male. Okay, never mind then. No eggs from that one, unfortunately. The Asian has arrived, and there seems to be a path going all the way there. Still, I mean, there's quite a bit of trees, but not that much yet. Right, so let's get some goods in here. Needs good bin first. The wheelbarrow is one of them. Okay. Interesting. 
Uh, I suppose. Hold on, where is the gems? Not lizards here. Okay, thanks. I'll do that after the stream. And I do admit that the vanilla colours, uh, some of the darker colours, are indeed a bit hard to see. Not wrong on that, but... Stone craft trading so damn popular. I mean, when you're digging underground, you get a lot of uh, stone, so you want to get rid of the stone. And that way, I mean, it's basically just free exports. these and how valuable are they? Oh, there's not particularly valuable at all. Right, I'm um, gonna need the trader to get in here. But yeah, I mean prepared food barrel is <laughs> worth quite a bit. But at the same time with the stone crafts you can kind of clear out the floors that are left rather dirty. Okay then, let's uh, have a look at if they have an anvil first. Okay, they do have a steel, a steel anvil. Because that's better than nothing. All the finished goods that would be probably just about enough for them to accept. Let's try if we can get it a little bit cheaper. There we go. That's probably all that we can afford trading right now, anyway. I mean, they should be there, yes, but. Sometimes the first uh, caravan doesn't have all that much items. I was wondering if they had iron animals, but of course they didn't. Right, so don't think we need leather right now, it's not a huge priority. Don't really need the metal bars either, because we do have access to iron. Maybe some seeds wouldn't be bad. Drinks is probably something that we do also need. There's not a huge amount of things that we can afford buying right now, anyway. Not until we get our productions going properly. So I think I'm gonna leave it mostly at that right now. Have a look what they want crossbows, mazes, quivers, sheets, plants. Okay, so plants is gonna be a good way to get money with these. Fish. Also fairly easy to get. And cloth, cheese, strings, crutches, other water skins and musical instruments. Alright then. I think we can get at least some of that. Right, so did we dig out all well we dug out some of this area, also we started going underground a little bit there. Just smoothing out the trade plaza there, but that's alright. priority just to use this. Uh, fair enough. Let's, uh, let's get the finished good stockpile over there and I can actually remove it from here now.
Yeah, true. They are a bit random. Finish goods down there. Did we? So this is going to be the crafting layer, and this is going to be. Ooh, hold on a minute. Die right over here. That's actually not bad. Bit of a corridor there. Let's figure it out. So we probably want to get some of the rooms going on here. So let's designate. I don't know, ten of them. That's a fairly generous sort of room. For individual. Usually I go for six or four, but I figured that I go a bit more luxurious with these doors. Well, I mean, yeah, if you want to have the a max uh, boost for the mood, then yeah, but right now we. My slaver. Mm, a slaving is a, a bit rough term, but yes. Yeah, well, at least the miner is getting some nice experience there. Moving down that one. I also want to get some crafting area down here. are for elves. No, for elves it's just a one by one pit. Wait, why waste good space for the elves? Preferably you push them into the pit as well. And there's multiple D levels of uh <laughs> try to earth indeed. The trader is still there. He shouldn't be there. There we go. Only 99.9% .9 are trash. Oh, that might go Sometimes, yeah. Usually not, though. Dean. Oh, that's another gem. Yeah, these uh, three by threes are just, you know, for the starting bedrooms over here in the actual city. Those are going to be for the uh, people that are newcomers, basically, and then those that have been in the fort for a longer while will get some proper bedrooms and dining rooms and all that sort of stuff. They get the entire apartment. Walls. Oh right, to have engravings on either side. Right, let's actually start getting some... Hello Nikiga, how's it going? Get some smoothing over there. Although they're still not done with this uh, room entirely. Some migrants. Why not an F11? Um, I don't know. I just uh, the windowed mode is a 
bit easier to handle at certain points. What we got? Well, at least that's my excuse. Another reindeer. Let's put that into the pen here. Let's actually dig out another area down this way so we can set up a second storeroom. set up a hotkey down here already and another one down here All right, well, at least the dining room has some people in there but that means that's a lot of idlers actually Although we're kind of, uh, wait, oh, actually, there we go. You know what? Let's set up some more of the people that are idling to do some stone detailing. Alright, oh, there's a lot of newcomers. You know what? All of those. Do some smoothing. Get more of the rooms completed. are gone. The mine is clearing out that. I suppose I could start designing on what type of uh, crafting rooms I want. Okay, so that's one workshop. Then there's a corridor. Two, three, another workshop. Corridor, one, two, three. That's a fairly large one, but there's at least a room between all the workshops to move freely. Here looks like it. How much do we actually have food? 39 plants, 12, dr Ooh, 12 drinks. That's not good. That means some people are almost sober. That's not allowed. More barrels, actually. more or less as I intended it to work, although we still don't have the secondary corridor to lay traps on also. I think we have we have enough of this room. Yes, we can actually start placing that down. Then we get rid of the depot up top. How's it going? We're slowly getting some of the finished goods there. I think on this room we'll have um, masons, carpenters, um, craftsmen, and basically I'm just thinking of there's four workshops of each. Maybe mechanics. And then we'll have maybe this side will have some food production, perhaps. Oh, and more hammer ties, good. Sorry, old happy, I've been playing quite a bit lately as uh, humans, so.
kind of work all day to do it when I have a safety meeting. Oh boy. Well, I trust you are now very safety. Oh, you know everything about safety now. These masons should probably be on this side. With the carpenters on this side, I guess. And then we'll have the brass wharf workshops over here. Mechanics down here. Actually, got that there. Maybe I want to have the smithy somewhere around here about. I can have the ore and bar stuff piles on this side. And then just have another set of staircases down here. That might work. Right, so, oh, the miner is sleeping, right, so everyone else is not doing anything either. More barrels going, did we get? No, we didn't actually take out that one either. Alright then. Got a little bit of ammunition still. I mean, well, I we still got the 20 bolts that we started with. With this mason, let's get some tables and thrones. Be using most of the stone in here. Okay, we've got a lot of albatrosses here. Of course, we are at the coast here, so that does make sense. There's some pythons, a crab, or albatrosses, and then there's, of course, the albatross liaison and some gibbons. And an owl. Alright then. So, a lot of uh, birds. about the different people in the company that died right before retirement. Oh boy. Well, at least I suppose tomorrow is Friday, so it might be a bit brighter day. we get some more land processing going. And uh, we're still a bit low on drinks, so let's just put brewing and on repeat. Probably have plenty of barrels to fill up the stockpile for the time being. I mean, I will hydrate, but. Not sure that I'd call my water quite that. Okay, so the miner is working again, good. Basically the only one that is working all. all. Nope. I do not know that mean. Don't need to teach me it. Because we actually do have cloth, so how about we make some bags? We're gonna need those for the seeds. Especially once we start moving those. Well, actually, we might leave the seeds on those stuff bars there. Uh, well, actually, there's not all that much 
things that have been planted yet. And of course we do not have anything to plant over there right now. I mean, we should probably start figuring out at some point, just start digging down further to maybe find the cavern layers. On the other hand, the miner has already way too many things to mine out, so maybe not right now. That can probably wait for a little while. Right, so, oh, there's no one doing the masonry quite yet. On the other hand, there's not that many people that have been assigned to the do that. We do have a lot of people that will be doing smoothing, but... Diggy diggy hole indeed. so far. So we got the ammunition. Oh right, yeah, that's everyone's clothing. Roughly many barrels already. That's alright. We've got the beds that... We might want to build more beds. We got the... Actually... Mm -hmm. Start getting some of the doors in here. We'll start making some of the first bedrooms. So how much? Okay, a population of 15 already. I mean, it's not all that big yet. It could be worse. Busy. Hold on, so it's already late autumn. Almost winter time. Now, considering the weather up top, it hasn't been raining much by the looks of it. And the trees are rather tropical here, so I reckon that the sea is not gonna. Uh, freeze during winter. Actually, one thing that I should probably do is set this area as a water source. Just in case. So let's build a bridge that rises to that direction, just so that we can close in the place if need be. Hey Catman does, how's it going? And we are starting to get some of the stone thrones and chairs and all that. Or oh, Poseidon wrath upon you. Uh, more or less. I'm actually not entirely sure what deities people over here are worshipping the most. We'll find that out eventually though, once we start doing the shrines. Great, just got back from work through a bit of rain. Ah, oh, fair enough. Maybe it is autumn, so it does make sense that there's a bit of rain. Right, so we've got the animals there, nothing too much to worry about that. And now it is winter. So, usually I'm only going for one year, but we might go a bit further today, depending on how quickly this goes. I mean, it's been running fairly smoothly so far. Actually, wonder, we could probably set up the new food storages. On a layer below, let's say we do a... Oh, this is actually at the edge of the map here. Oh, 
one one euro per stream. I mean, the previous uh, Dwarf Water streams tend to be like three to four hours per year. So yes, I've usually done just one. Ooh, damp stone. Okay, well, I guess we won't be going that far. I mean, technically that is kind of under the ocean. That actually... Oh yeah, it is diorite. Or that could be... Cavern layers. Let's do a quick little poke down that way. Though I'm not entirely sure. Well, I suppose it could be current layers. Although, if that. Hmm. You might have to do it on a layer above that, actually. If we want to be certain. Did you. Oh, you did. No, 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 it's just uh, those notifications there. So the miner is currently drinking. Get some more maintenance uh, workshops here. Right, uh, we had the bed, so let's start making at least two of these now, and then, of course, we can utilize the Arventure's workshop over here to get another few. Be enough, and actually... His sole job was to slam a pickaxe at a rock you drink to. I mean, yeah, the dwarves do like the alcohol. Speaking of alcohol, we only have four drinks left. Oh no. Did we run out of uh, things to... Oh yeah, we may have run out of plants to actually... Brew. That's not good. A quick look. So what plants do we have remaining? Oh no, we got a lot of plant helmets now. Also a lot of barrels. Oh, we found more damp stone there. Okay, so we might want to expand a bit more to the south then, because that feels like it's going to be a bit better area. I'm pretty sure that we're not quite at the current layers yet. Because I did change those numbers at the world generation a little bit. So that there would be at least a little bit extra room. So we've got the second storage here. I'm going to make that into furniture storage. Right, and... Let's see, so we're going to have to get some sort of uh, wood stockpile here close by. Actually, if we... Expand a bit more to the south, we could probably make this into a wood stockpile then. Not like that, that shouldn't be too big. Right then, so people are harvesting this miner is... Hmm, I mean... I suppose getting the food harvested is fairly important. Rossing drink material again. Okay. Rather than trying to put it into the same barrel as the. Someone trying to brew is uh, trying to access or something. I'm assuming that it's not actually out of uh, things to brew. How much. Okay, we got 12 drinks so far. We're gonna get another 10-ish from that one. Oh, we oh, wow, the damp stone does reach pretty far here. It does kind of follow this area here, so the biome changes, so that might be heavy aquifer beyond that. 
Okay. Something like that there. I mean, there's still going to be a little bit of room for something to... Store of, well, a bit of a storage of wood at least there. Let's get some carpenters workshops over here as well. So that we don't need to worry about that later. Then the crossroads workshops down this side. There we go. So it's a nice and roomy room with a lot of uh, workshops. So I could get rid of this area here. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be so many damp stones on this side as well, so I'm just going to cancel that area. And the miner is back at working. Good. Did we actually. Yeah, we did dig down here. Let's dig a little bit that way, and then I think we're gonna do a 11 by 11 storage for food. And then we can have the large dining hall over here. So it's a short trip to get the food in there. Do we get the? We do get some of the beds now. Good. And to be fair, we didn't start making the doors quite yet. Let's start on the beds first. And then of course we do need to make these into actual bedrooms. Tell <laughs> me how was your dining? Um, I will try. Yeah, quite a few doors. I know that I'm going to use a lot of them anyway. Another doorway down that way. Right, so stockpile for wood. That there, we're gonna have a wheelbarrow in here. You know what? You could technically take from the other wood stockpile. Have a bit of a chain stockpile, so to speak. Right, so the next thing is probably the food production on this side. Follow that right about there. That's going to be the correct size. Actually, is that... Mm, hold on. No, it should be all... Oh no, I actually did screw that one up. And so are we actually getting the doors? Well, at least we've got a lot of barrels here. That's good. We don't have a massive amount of food. Or drinks, rather, in this case. We actually have a lot of seeds, but I reckon most of those are being planted already. So what seeds do we have here? Cotton, pigtail, pigtail. Alright, pigtail can't be planted until summer. Alright then. Now, I suppose we don't need this one anymore, or that one, or this one, slowly clearing out this area. Actually, 
let's figure out. We are going to have a similar corridor down here. And a large corridor down this way. We're going to have another 7x7 seven seven storage down here. We would have the downstairs over here once again. And then up down... Oh, that was the wrong button, or the wrong hotkey rather. At least down here. Let's see, how much do we actually have room on this side? Let's see, if we were to copy this sign there, it'd be enough for a small corridor in between. Not a terrible idea. Not the best idea either, but, but it will suffice. So we technically make that into the mything area. digging up, I'm digging down. Now I'm pretty sure that was since I've already been on this layer, it should be pretty dry. Got another doorway there, and a doorway there. gonna be the forges and smelteries and that sort of stuff. Well, over here I will probably set up another storage. So one is gonna be for ore and another is gonna be for bars. Mostly the metal bars and charcoal or other fuel thingies. Wait a minute, did we? Oh no, we didn't actually get rid of this one. Uh, let's remove it now just so that we don't need to do that later. Probably actually turn most of this area into just extra farms. Somewhere down the line. Right, so did we get... Ah, we got some more of the door, so let's start setting them down here. get some bedrooms going. I'm pretty sure that the first two have been claimed by someone a long time ago. At least some time ago. Let's have a look. So the miner has actually claimed one and the expedition leader has claimed the other one. I mean I guess that's fair game. The miner is doing a lot of work and the expedition leader is just the expedition leader. Actually, wonder if we were to continue this same on this side. How many rooms could we fit in here? Okay, there's going to be a bit extra room there, but that's probably all right. We 
There we go. I'm again, I'm just making too many things for the Mino to do, but oh well. We'll sort that out in the post. Look at a smell. Oh, no, no, siege weapon. Meltery here. And a wood furnace on the other side. I'm starting to get the wood down there. Slowly but surely. I oh, haven't dug out that, but that's alright. Get this sorted out eventually. we could set up one of the forges down here and since we are gonna get non-macro forges I mean uh, we haven't dug that deep yet that's we got access to iron anyway already not expanding a lot of things and start making some weaponry and armor and more picks quite frankly see so over here we got more of these and pretty much well most of them have been claimed now not all of them but Oh, we actually have a couple now. That's probably some of the immigrants that came in at one point or another. A lot of albatrosses still, and the outpost liaison is still in here for some reason. I mean, they usually stay for quite a while. We could set up some of the offices down here. From the thing of it, so if we duck out that area, we can still have the main corridor going a little bit that way. That does leave us with room for a nice 3x3 office, or we could go for 5x3 for a bit more room. That's mostly just for the bookkeeper and the manager. Right, so let's get some charcoal first. We'll get five or so. Then we start melting the hematite. Hold on, why is that? Oh, har miner is harvesting plants again. Of course he is. But technically I could probably stop him from doing that, but oh well. I'll let it slide. Oh, but there's not a lot of things that... Hmm. Get a couple more wheelbarrows. I'm going to get a bit more wood into the stockpile here. Because it's still a bit of a long trip to get them in here. Through the corridors. Oh, look, actually, that reminds me. How about not smoothing out a bit more of the corridor? Give the idlers something to do. And so, have we gotten. We have gotten one charcoal. Melt the hematite. Or is it not going to be. A massive amount of uh, metal quite yet, but in due time. Why oh, did we? No, we didn't quite yet get that off well sorted out, but that's alright. To be fair, since we haven't gotten the doorways here quite yet, <laughs> some of the distances are a bit awkward. Got another two charcoal there. Actually, I think 
the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make another anvil. We make sure that we have enough iron bars. We should have. Is that... I don't remember. Is that in furniture or is that in other components? In other components. One of those coming along. And I suppose we could get a bit more charcoal. Not that we've run out yet, but... Oh, right, we can actually make steel. Right. That's going to make things a lot easier. Perhaps I could, uh, if the puny humans come around and trade, we could maybe pity them and sell them the iron anvils while we use steel anvils for the most part. Let's make some pig iron bars then. We do indeed know the secrets of steel. Mine is certainly leaving some nasty bits of uh, stone there for a little while, but I know that that will get sorted out in due time. Did we get the Oh yeah, we did get the wheelbarrow, so let's increase that to three. To keep more of the idlers busy for a while. Actually, how much? We got quite a bit of charcoal there. I'm about to get more iron and three... animals brought in there, okay. Well, apparently the humans don't know about it. Yeah, I suppose I could make another set of uh, workshops down here. Oh, and let's get the side doors down there as well. Of ease of access. Right, so did we? We did actually get the wheelbarrows into use now. And, ooh, the corridor has been mostly smoothed out. Now, since we got so much stone lying around, I'm just going to start doing some rock cross on repeat. We still we are making the pig iron parts now, so we can then after we have that we can start making steel. Actually, have a look. It's so long since I made steel now. I'm gonna test, but probably gonna give us two bars of steel, isn't it? Just using bars. It's better than nothing, of course, but... How far are we... Oh, it's already late winter. Alright then. Probably stop at the start of summer. I might then play a little bit further off-camera. Just do a bit of uh, maintenance work, so to speak. We only have 15 people, so we won't be getting the strange moods quite yet. There we go, well that's at least one of the corridors open there, good. I'm getting the steel bars, I'm gonna have to check that just to make sure because a lot of my forts never get to getting iron or steel for that matter. Okay, so it is in the two bars of steel. 
good, good. Yeah, it's a little bit closer to the stop bar, but not quite there yet. Let's actually get an iron pick, shall we? That should help a little bit. There's probably some idlers that could start mining as well. How many... Okay, we've got two charcoal over there. Get some more. Over here we have found some gems, but that's about it. Actually, that reminds me. We don't have a workshop for that. No do we have a proper stockpile, to be fair, but... We'll get around to that at some point. Although, actually... A bit of a path there, and then we can continue this for another 7 by 7 One over here. And then we can probably make this into a elongated storage here. Maybe turn that into gem stockpile or something like that. Because we have found quite a bit of different gems already, so... You know, which we could probably easily just dig out these. I know that there's a lot of veins there, but I'm, I don't need all of them right now. Right, so did we... Get the pick? Yes, we did. Okay, so let's uh, pick something, or someone, do some mining. Okay, so who are you? A presser? Okay, you're gonna be a miner now. Congratulations. That should speed up the things at least a tiny bit. Oh, well, and we found more iron. Good, good. So, we got a little bit of charcoal there, but not enough right now. I mean, we could do a little bit more. I suppose. Let's get another set of uh, pick iron bars and maybe a more iron and that more into steel and then we get another steel anvil and turn that into another forge. Oh right, I forgot. Yeah, the humans don't visit dwarves on the first year, usually second year and from there onwards unless you um, more or less get a water glid right so we have already dug out some of the future food production workshop area over here so let's figure out some workshops there so stills is definitely a good idea actually I think two stills is probably gonna be enough for the time being but we do need a fishery or two not that we have all that many fishers quite yet then, which way? Right, this is probably best in the corner there. Get some butchers. Put the tanners over here. Bring the kitchen there. So we'll go with two of each in this particular room, I think. We'll get started with those. So we are still bringing a lot of wood into this stockpile there, that's good. We get the... We got the pick iron and iron bar there, so we technically make some steel bars already, and that means that we'll still have an extra four iron bars left over. And we are mining... Okay, so the new miner is at least doing something. Oh, we actually started 
digging on that one. Good. Now, I could dig down to find the caverns right at the centre here, although I'm a bit tempted to actually do it a bit off to the side here, just in case that if we find something dangerous we can close it off and not have a direct path from the caves into our living quarters. So let's get downstairs there. And dig down, I don't know, layer 20 or so. It will take some time before we actually get to digging that, but that's alright. Got some idlers, although not all that many. How are we doing in terms of plants? We got 50. Oh crap, we're out of drinks. We're gonna have a rebellion soon if we don't do something. Start brewing over there, and we actually can start brewing over here as well. Get some barrels on repeat for a little while. Okay, there we go. So that producing room is mostly clear out now, so let's get the kitchens. Over there, and uh, we'll get a second one. Then we're going to get the tannery and butchery. Actually, get farmer's workshop over here. We're going to get a loom down here. And to, actually, no, I don't want to get the loom in here. Come to think of it. Put that into a different room. We're going to have the farmer's workshop there, though. But I want to get... well, I suppose the leather worker could also be in a separate room, now that I think of it. Oh, we did actually start digging down here a little bit. Well, I'll let the new miner do that for a while. Wait, is the... oh, the other miner is drinking now. I suppose we did just get some... Something to drink at least. How much do we have charcoal in here? Got three. Someone's been trying to make some charcoal, but they got distracted. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, the digging speed is not particularly high anyway. So do we have anything up top here that needs to actually? Running a bit low on wood, how about we go in and dig some more? Not dig, uh, chop down some more. Luckily, there's no elves on this uh, continent yet, so you won't be pissed. How far have we gone now? A little bit further, but not. Significantly. And the other one is currently actually both neither one of the miners are currently mining. Alright then. No one's been doing the kitchens yet. Pretty sure that I have someone assigned at cooking, but they might be a bit busy doing other things right now. Because it looks like most people are. Did we hold on, did we get the steel? Uh, we're going to make more steel right now, okay. Should get sorted out soon, then we're going to get another steel anvil. And the wood stockpile is slowly growing. Um, okay, so we've got some barrels there, but we could always have more. We start making... it start brewing a little bit, but... Okay, we've got 29 now, so the situation is slowly improving. Very slowly, that is. Alright, no worries. Now, to be fair, we don't have any military yet. On the other second, how we 
yeah, we just don't have people for that yet. Although I'm pretty sure that during springtime we should be getting some more people. But let me have a quick look. Do we have... So you've got a lover. Oh, the miner and the expedition leader are lovers. Okay. And then the carpenter and the manager are lovers. There's a lot of romance in the air. And the papermaker and the wax worker are husband and wife. Got some friends. You got. Oh wow. Oh wow. Expedition leader has two lovers, in fact. There is indeed a lot of romance in the air. anything found here yet? Nope, not really. Other than a little bit of gems at the wall there. And there. That reminds me, did we... No, we didn't get more of the stuff class out yet. Although, we could start uh, smoothing down one of the offices here. Do have some of the doors already. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. So is this the... that's a finished good... Um, they, oh, right, they're probably bringing all the finished goods down here. No. Shouldn't. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, one thing that I can certainly do is get rid of this uh, furniture stockpile here. And since we got the... Oh, um... We'll probably one more drink, I suppose that's fine. Probably get rid of this one and that one. Slowly make some room there. Not sure what I'll be doing with that area, but oh well. Maybe I'll just close it off at some point. Oh man, you took the mark from there, and then you're gonna have to run all the way back up to get a drink. That's not good. We really need this stuff file opened. We're currently digging out the corridor there, okay. Yeah, some class furnaces here. And then I suppose we could get a couple kilns as well. Get that going. That stockpile is almost empty. Did we... Yeah, no, we haven't dug in any deeper right now. Oh, we did actually... clear out some of this here. Apparently we dropped quite a bit of frames there, for some reason. I'm sorry about that, I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but... Maybe just a dip in the... Oh yeah, that was a dip in the internet. In my internet, to be precise. Why is... There's no one still working on the cooking. Or kitchens, rather. That's a bit odd. Let me have a look. Do I actually have people that are assigned to do cooking? Ah, oh, we got two. I suppose we could set up some of these people as well. We get some fish cleaning as well, just in case. Alright then, so the food stock part. Wood, not food. Stock pile is doing still alright. The drinks are starting to pile up now, finally. There a bit of seeds here. So that one we can probably get rid of. But what's this? Not a little shell, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, the amount of wood over here is a bit low, I suppose. I could get another wheelbarrow. 
I'm guessing we got probably... Yeah, we got enough barrels now. Uh, you don't need to repeat that anymore. A little bit digging that needs to be done here. Is the other one... Oh, right, you're digging the food stuff. Well, finally. That's going to be good. Gonna be good. We're going to be bringing in the food here from the other place. Apparently we don't seem to be having a lot of problems with my internet, so perhaps... Well, we're almost reaching summer anyway, so once we hit that we'll probably end the stream. Because I'm not entirely sure what is going on, but that is affecting the stream. are some of the extra rooms here, although there's still a few people that don't have their own bedroom. Should be able to fix that soon enough, actually. Some more beds here. Yeah, another five, I believe, although technically we could bring in the beds from the other area, but at the same time we're going to have to dig those rooms out first. And that seems to be taking... Oh, some migrants have arrived. Let's have a look. How many is that? Two... Three or five, okay, it's quite a few. Yeah, it really is quite a few. Just keep coming. That's a lot of animals. Can be both good and bad. In the respect, okay, so we had 15 before. My estimation is that we now have about 32. 31, not bad. Alright then. So let's set up some more animals into this. Get the horses here. Yeah, cow. Uh, probably get the piglet in here as well. Although the piglet probably doesn't need to be there. Well, I'll get them there anyway. There's other piglets there already. Right, so there's still a few items over here that will need to be transferred. We get this. It's mostly cleared now, but not entirely. Now, I, su I suppose... I mean that the internet is going to work. Um... We'll be setting up a stockpile over here with is mostly food on this side and then a little bit for the drinks which are there, so just so that it doesn't impede of uh, us having one or the other. You know what? Yeah, let's set up the food stockpile. In here, so this is gonna be just food without drinks or seeds. So, no drinks or seeds. I suppose I could then change. Hold on, is that? Oh, right, they're just getting into the fort right now. I was a bit confused there. But over here, um. Settings, I suppose you don't really need. Block all and then just. Uh. Emit seeds on this one. The other one we'll do more later, once we actually get the drinks as well, so we can uh, clear the drinks entirely. Oh right, yeah, um, that's a problem. The fact that we had dig uh, or dug out so much of the area here, we have now some holes in the ground there, which are open directly into the... Okay, that's a slight issue. See, where can we find them? There's one here. There's another one here, actually quite a few around here. There. Let's get some wooden floors on top of that. Is that everything? I think it is. More of a nuisance than anything else. 
So that's what you get when you try to build right under the first layer. Right, so we want to have the gem stockpile here. Get that one going. And then we have the other stockpile over here that we could utilize for something else. How about we make that into the cloth stockpile? And then that means that we can get rid of the cloth stockpile down here. And the gem. Get more and more of the things down. And actually, let's go ahead and... Ooh, purple spinal. I'm pretty sure that that is just some... gems again somewhere. Did we dig down here already? We have gotten a little bit deeper, that's for sure. Oh, that's where we found the purple... What's that? Yeah, purple spinals. We've got quite a few layers to go before we run out of designation. It's alright, and was there anything over here? So we clear out those. Have we cleared out the... No. Gold opal. Okay, that's more gems. Basically what we're going to do here is we're going to have this stockpile of food going to be completely uh, seed eventually. Although, do we... I don't think we have the... No, we don't actually have any. Right, well, let's get some bins so we can start storing things a bit more effectively. Let me get some of these stockpiles open. That's good. Right, I suppose I could maybe set up a bit of a stockpile over here for stone. Some regular stone. Gold opal. Alright then. What's that? Okay, that is digging. I'm actually a bit curious. How good of a miner are you already? Adequate. Okay. Works for me. Oh, Masterpiece bin. That's not too bad. Uh, are we still making. No, we're not making repeat barrels anymore. Probably got way too many. Oh, no, actually, not all that many. So, how are we doing on here? I don't think we've dug in. Oh, actually, we have dug in a bit deeper. But we didn't find anything. Oh, what? Well, let's just dig in deeper. What could possibly go wrong? Probably take some time before we actually dig out all of that, but that's alright. We've got another table here. We've got quite. Oh, I'm stone. Okay. I expect it as much, to be fair. It's going to be a little bit smaller area than I hoped for, but oh well. It's still going to be adequate uh, stockpile. Although, it depends how much it's blocking on the left side here. That might be, well... Doesn't seem too bad, it's just saving uh, a little bit off to the oh, off, to, off the top of there, but that seems to be alright. Actually follow the coastline here. To a degree, not entirely though. Hold on, is that? Damsel clay wall, okay. So this area, let's make that into stone stuff while it's going to require some wheelbarrows, of course. So stone, you don't take metal ores. So for that, economic, yes, and basically, yeah, other than ores, it should be fine. We'll get the metal ores in one of these uh, two stuff wells here. Oh, and since we got that, let's get the door in here. Because we could get a, let's say, a table and a chair. But did we... We did clear out that, so we can get the drink stockpile here now.
So let's block all. And then commit those two. And then we can go in here and... But why is that barrel anyway? Is that a seed barrel? No, there's an empty barrel just... There. There's a seed barrel in here though. But this stockpile I can now... Basically block all except seeds. So all of that should be ferried downstairs. Hopefully soon enough, but we'll see. Although to be fair, we might want to get some of the... Oh wow, there's a lot of uh, drop frames. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, um... Hopefully it will, they'll be transferred downstairs. See how that goes, but... Frankly, how far are we? We are on late spring. Not sure if uh, <laughs> the stream is still working or not, but uh, I will be calling here then because there's just there's a thousand drop frames so far in this stream, and most of that is just in the past ten minutes or so. So it's not particularly good. So anyway, I should be back on Sunday with the Hearts of Iron Three streams, and then Monday and Wednesday with more workers and resources, and. Thursday will continue with this. Oh, that's odd. But on my end, there's a lot of drop frames, so there's something wrong with my internet right now. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and until next time, bye bye.